selective justice. That's what the Front National believes Clive Darby Lewis is being subjected to. Three days after the 21st anniversary of Chris Harney's assassination, the fledgling political party says one of the men convicted of his murder should be freed. All of these other people who committed really terrible crimes, mass murders, you know, like the St. James Massacre by Apla and so on, they've all been let off the hook and Clive is still in prison. Darby Lewis and Janusz Wallis, the man who pulled the trigger, claimed their crime was political. But were denied amnesty by the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. Since imprisonment, Darby Lewis has been denied parole several times and was recently attacked twice in jail. His legal team will launch an application for medical parole on Monday, claiming he has now been diagnosed with lung cancer. Even if he is released now during 2014, he will only go home to die. Um, while Sheikh is playing a round of golf and Salibi is eating pizza. But for the organization Harney once led, Darby Lewis's health is immaterial. The SACP wants the truth behind Harney's death before his release is even considered. If Clive de Lewis is really terminally ill, nothing will stop him to disclose the entire truth uh, before he actually dies or before uh, he engages into all these maneuvers to get him released from prison. Chris Harney's assassination brought South Africa to the brink of civil war. 21 years later, one of his murderers is near death and seeking his freedom. Time will tell if his wish will be granted. Nicholas Bauer, Boxburg. You deserve to know more. ENCA.com.